The request is draw all the constitutional isomers for C4H9Cl. Constitutional isomers are ones that are connected differently and therefore have a different name. Now, the way that I deal with halogens when I'm asked to come up with constitutional isomers is to initially treat them just like they were hydrogen. What I mean is I'm going to draw the constitutional isomers for C4H10. See how the Cl, I'm pretending it's an H, so I have 9 plus 1, which is 10 Hs. I'm going to start with the constitutional isomers for C4H10, and then I'm going to change various Hs to Cls to see if they give me different isomers of this compound. Anyways, let's get on with it. C4H10, one of those is regular butane, four carbons in a row, all single bonded. The only other way we could connect four carbons, all single bonded, is to have three in a row, and then a single carbon chain coming off the middle. If that single carbon chain was, in theory, coming off the end, then actually your chain is just four long and you're back to this molecule here. So these are the only two different connectivities that your carbon backbone can have. Now the question is, where can the Cl go? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different places where I could replace the Cl, but obviously if I replace that hydrogen with a Cl, it's the same as if I replace that one or that one, especially because I only have one Cl here. So where can my Cls go? Well, I could have a Cl here on the first carbon of the chain. I could also have a carbon I mean chlorine here at the second carbon on the chain. You'll note that there's still nine places for hydrogen, but one of them from the original C4H10 has been converted to chlorine. Now these two are very different from each other. The one of them is one chlorobutane and the other one is two chlorobutane. What about three chlorobutane you ask? Well, if I put the Cl here on this carbon, then all of a sudden I have it closer to the other side. So I would be starting to count it from this side. That's one, two. Oh, three chlorobutane is actually two chlorobutane when you named it wrong. <laughs> and if I put my Cl here on the fourth carbon of the chain, why wouldn't you just call that carbon one? It's one chlorobutane again, right? These are the only two constitutional isomers that have all four carbons in a row. Where can we replace hydrogens here? with chlorine. Well, one option is the very first carbon here. This is 1-chloro-2-methylpropane. If I put my chlorine on this carbon, then actually that's the exact same thing. I would just count from this carbon across and go 1-chloro-2-methylpropane. And the same if I started at this carbon. 1 chloro 2-methylpropane. But there is one other carbon that I can add it to here, and it's the central carbon of that molecule. If I put it there, then all of a sudden the chlorine's attached to the same carbon that the methyl is. This is 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. And again, you can see, if they have different distinct names, then they're distinct constitutional isomers. These are the four, you're done. Now, if you know anything about chirality or stereo isomers, then I'm just gonna point out here, you have both an R and an S version. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it, you probably don't need to know, but this is the only one here that's chiral. Oh, wait, 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 this one also has R and S isomers, and I know that because that carbon has an H and a chloromethane and a meth. Oh no, those are, no, never mind. That's not chiral at all. I was right the original time. Cool. Anyways, the constitutional isomers are this one, this one, this one, and this one. One chlorobutane, two chlorobutane, one chloro, two methylpropane, and two chloro, two methylpropane. Nice. Play that for your, uh, I don't know, your lover, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever to uh, impress them with what you're doing in chemistry. I'm impressed. Best of luck.